It's Black Friday again, and Best Buy here in Canada is selling the vocal link products paired with Google Home. This video is for those of you just getting started on your smart home journey. We're gonna help you get that set up and working today. Hey guys, Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek, the channel where we bring you new smart home content every week, looking at Apple, Google, Amazon, and whatever else I find interesting. If you find that interesting, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell to be notified when new videos are added. This video is gonna be short and to the point. By the end of this video, you'll be able to turn your plugs on or off remotely and your home will be just a little bit smarter. Let's check it out. So step one, assuming that you're on an Apple phone, you're gonna go into the Apple App Store, download the Google Home Welcome app, Google Home. log into it, and create yourself a Google new app. home. Uh, right above there, we should see the setup Google Home device. I'm gonna be using a Google Home Mini in this case, and it will basically find that right away. If you don't already have a home, you can create a new home and put in your uh, the name of your home as well as an address if you want to. So once you've found that new device, your home has been set up, you're going to add that new device to your Google Home that you just created. Now you're gonna to have to also make sure you have your Wi-Fi password, um, your Wi-Fi SSID, all of that information available as we're doing this. So it's going through the setup process. Once you hear that sound, we're gonna put this in a room and that's a way to keep your smart home a little more organized and keep your, your devices together so you know when you're turning off the living room right lights or not. We're gonna attach this to the right Wi-Fi network and it will then connect to Wi-Fi. Once it's successfully connected, you're gonna be presented with some additional options around setting up your Google Assistant and this is really up to you. Uh, I really don't have any preferences either way. You do you. So now that we've got the Google side all set up, we're gonna go do the vocal link side. We're gonna click on the user on the bottom right, go into third party connections, and click on the create account button to get your vocal link cloud account set up. Pretty simple, just follow the instructions here. So as part of the registration process, Vocalink's gonna wanna make sure that you have access to that email. So they're gonna send you a verification email. Just go check your email, put in the identification code. I do highly recommend you save the password here and don't reuse commonly used passwords. Use the iOS password manager if you can. It's definitely a good idea from a security standpoint. So now that we've got our vocal link account set up, we're gonna connect that to our Google Home. And that's as easy as clicking on the setup device here and picking the works with Google option and searching for vocal link, which is gonna be right down at the bottom of the list in that it starts with V. So if we just do a V here, we should get there fairly quickly. Uh, there we go, vocal link. And now we're gonna be taken back over to the vocal link site where you're gonna use the same username and password that you just created. So once you've typed those in, you'll be taken back to Google Home and you'll see that vocal link is linked down there at the bottom, which means that from here on in, any new devices you add to the vocal link app are gonna be able to be connected to Google Home. So now that we've created our vocal link account, we're gonna connect our first device. So whatever device you have, uh, click on the plus button, select it, and follow those confirmations. On an Apple device, this is incredibly easy. Just follow that HomeKit setup code, and that's gonna get it connected to the same Wi-Fi network that you are currently on, and uh, allow you to start controlling it from Apple HomeKit. So best of both worlds, you have uh, two systems you can work with here. So when we do that, in the background, it is also going to automatically connect your uh, Vocalink product to that Vocalink cloud, which is how we're gonna get to Google uh, and even Amazon for that matter. This is really straightforward, just follow the instructions here. If you're running an older version of the Vocalink app, you may have to go into the device details and bind it to the cloud manually. In the newer version though, this is taken care of for us to make our lives just a little bit easier. So once it's successfully connected, we're gonna be prompted to put that in a room of your choosing. Again, this is the Apple HomeKit version. I know that's a little confusing since we're connecting to Google, but that's just the way this works on an iOS device. So as you can see in the background, it's automatically being linked to the Vocal Link Cloud, which is great in that that is how we're gonna to have to control it using your Google devices. So for the next step, let's go back over to the Google Home app and make sure that everything is connected as we expect. So scrolling down a little bit, you'll see here that we have a device which has been linked to us, but not in our home. And that's the Vocal Link Smart Plug that we just added, which is kind of awesome. We click the Add to Room button, you select the room you want it to be in. And if that room doesn't exist, you just create your own name 
nice and easy. Now we can see that the in the app, the Vocal Link Smart Plug is in the same room as my office speaker, which is uh, now available to be controlled on or off. As well, I can use the magic commands to say, hey, G, uh, turn the light on, turn it off. And in the background here, you can see when I turn it on, there's a little bit of a delay, which is normal. But uh, I now have the ability to turn that plug on and on and turn the light bulb on and off in the background. Uh, that's it. We're good to go. You've now got control over your house. You can schedule this. You can use all the Google automation tools available to you to make your life just a little bit easier.